everyone. Today I wanted to share with you a mini album that I created um, using um, different paper collections. Um, it's mostly Prima, the Almanac collection, which is the, you know, printery number two. It just came out on CHA. And also, um, I used a paper from the My Mind's Eye, Follow My Heart collection. And the title of this mini album is Follow Your Heart. And um, you're going to notice that the cover is um, almost, ex well, very similar to one of the tags that I created for the Lindy Stamp Gang booth at CHA um, this past winter. Um, you know, it, it was inspired by that tag. Um, so um, I changed a few things and then just try to make the um, mini album as simple as possible and as quick as possible to create. Let me zoom out so you can see this is the mini album. It's a tag mini album. And I used the Tim Holtz um, tag die as the base for this. And um, as you can see, the tag is very similar to the one I made for CHA. The colors are similar, um, but the accents that I use are different. For example, in the bottom here, I have um, some sprays that are hanging down from the um, birth cage and also some Melissa Francis um, crystals hanging from there. It's just to add some bling to the bottom. This is some raffia um, that's kind of like a peachy golden color and then this is a fabric flower. I forgot the brand name um, but I colored them I colored it using my Lindy Stamp Gang. Two different colors. I used the um, Alpine Ice Rose and the Icy Primrose Gold also, which is this um, yellowy gold color. And um, in the back, the bird cage is from the Tim Holtz dye. And um, also the birds as well, which I covered in music paper, which is from the Follow My Heart collection my mind's eye and I distressed the birch with a vintage photo and then added some bling in the eyes for the eyes then at the top here um, I used the crown from one of Tim Holtz um, dyes and I embossed it using some Lindy Stamping embossing powder in the color hibiscus rose orange and then the bird cage I embossed it using um, Weeping Willow Green Gold, which is also from Lindy Stamp Gang. And the background is paper from Prima. And I um, sprayed with scintillating silver. I hope you could see the shimmer in the back. I, I sprayed the birds also with the scintillating silver. Everything is very, very shimmery. And then in the bottom down here, I have some lace. Um, and then over here, just some of the trim that I used um, throughout the album and this I dyed using the same colors of Lindy Stamp Gang that I used to do the flower over here. So that is the cover of the mini album. This is the first page right here. And this I didn't cover with paper. This is the tag, the chipboard, and I just sprayed it using scintillating silver. I hope you could see how shimmery it is. I didn't use any paper. I just wanted to make the background using the spray the glitz spritz and scintillating silver. I put a little bow there um, just to hide the little hole that the dye makes um, on the chipboard. Then I layered some uh, uh, trim over here which is you know that little plastic trim and then some of that eyelash trim in the silver and then just some some of the paper so you could put a photo here or add some journaling. Then the next one is a an acrylic tag. You could see through it. There's more of that um, lace that was in the front, and then one of the sprays that come um, from our embellishment bar at the paper niche niche. And um, some of that, those Maya Road little pins, I stuck some in there in the back. So that's that. And then in the top here, to hide the hole 
that the die creates in the middle, I took one of um, Tim Holtz's um, plates that you can get from the tag die. I um, cut it out of chipboard, embossed it using, again, the Weeping Willow Green Gold from Lindy Stamp Gang, added a bling in the center, and it's just a simple accent at the top. So that's the acrylic tag. You can add, you know, a picture here. Then um, on the back, you can see through it, so I didn't have to embellish when I just put some more of that um, lace from the paper in each right here. Then this is the next page. Again, really simple. Just some layering of the paper, then some another Maya Road pin back here. Um, then some more of the trim that I dyed um, with the Lindy Stamp Gang sprays. And again, you know, this space for picture or journaling right here. Very simple. I sprayed all the pages with scintillating silver, as you could see right there. Then the next page, again, just more trim, more eyelash, a little bit of the paper, and then more layers of the paper collection, another photo mount. Right here, and then the last page, again, more of that lace, more of the trim, one of those um, blingy flowers that um, the paper and each sells at the embellishment bar. And um, this is from the collection. I put some bling on the top of the crown. And that's it. That's the back. That is the end of the mini album. It's fairly simple. Um, and I wanted to share with you what I created. I hope you enjoyed. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, um, please leave them um, below. Um, if you want to see pictures of this project, you can visit my blog as well as um, in the blog. You'll see the links to all the products I use. So um you can visit that, and um, thank you so much for watching. Bye.